A dream came true when I recently attended the Polynesian Culture Center and I was able to apologize, or I should say a prayer came true. Uh, being somebody, in 2004, I started a, um, I'm going to tell you a story about how I demanded a refund at the Polynesian Culture Center. And I couldn't be further from the truth. And now, this whole journey is about not judging a book by its cover. I'm sitting on the beach of northern Kauai, Hawaii, where I just, a few days ago, I was able to attend the Polynesian Culture Center. And in the lobby of the hotel that we were staying in, a prayer was answered. And that prayer was, I got to meet a president who used to work at the Polynesian Culture Center. I'm going to show you his picture. This is the president I got to meet. He served in the mid-1990s through um, 2000. He was released. I was able to say, I am so sorry. I am sorry for judging you. I am sorry for judging the Polynesian Culture Center. I am sorry for being ignorant to the fact that members of the church worked and served and the Polynesian Culture Center is owned by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This is what happened and this is my transformative journey that I want to share with you. I ended up in 2004 I attended the Polynesian Culture Center as a guest not realizing they were owned by the church. After uh, spending all day there and spending a lot of money enjoying the shows the enjoying the luau enjoying the food all on them I realized that they were owned by members of the church out of anger I marched up to the front desk and demanded a full refund and said how dare you not disclose that you were owned by the church not only did they refund myself and my friend they gave us a full refund I said here you go Dennis they gave me four free tickets to return and I was so filled with anger and despite that I went tore them up tossed them out right in front of them so before I was invited on this trip to Hawaii I was praying saying I want to find a way to apologize to the Polynesian Culture Center I originally told this story when I was doing a zone conference for Mission President Hendrickson. He is the Mission President in Provo, Utah. And he said, wow, that's a great story. You really need to tell that to the Polynesian Culture Center. I did a video on YouTube. It didn't get many views. It didn't get many comments. But that's okay. It wasn't about that. It was about being here in the moment being in Hawaii and being able to apologize to this guy, the, the president. And there's no such thing as coincidence. So I was in the lobby, we were watching, it was Sunday evening, and I was watching, uh, they're celebrating their 60th year anniversary at the Polynesian Culture Center. And they invited presidents from all over that served, and they invited people who had retired from the Poly or served at the Polynesian Culture Center. And if you don't know what the Polynesian Culture Center does, it's owned by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and it's an opportunity for anybody to basically um, go to college, and it attracts people from seven different Polynesian islands, including New Zealand, Tahiti, Somalia. And they come and perform, and they get to pay off and go to school for free and it's such an amazing opportunity and myself being so ignorant at the time and not and I guess you could say being so selfish and not with a lack of understanding when I found out that the church owned that site I was like you gotta be kidding not only did I almost start an LGBT protest at the dedication of the Harford Temple, now I'm a member. Not only did I steal the Book of Mormon out of anger because I said I'm not paying for that before I was baptized, now I'm a member. But almost 20 years ago, I demanded a full refund and they gave it to me, which tells me that 
members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints are some of the nicest and kindest and most caring people you can meet. I will never forget that. G-B-O-C-R-O-W says, you're amazing. Well, I'm going to say, you're amazing. I think we all have some amazingness inside of us if we search for it. And if we find ways to share charity and the pure love of Christ. I happen to do it with my social media account. And I also happen to do it with the fact that I carry pass along cards everywhere I go. So this way, if I meet somebody and feel prompted, I can give them a pass along card. And I can say you can download this, this book in over a hundred different languages. And it's changed my life and it can change yours. So the story about this is to be able to attend the Polynesian Culture Center on a different scale this time has softened my heart. I was able to appreciate what was happening at the Polynesian Culture Center. I was able to take in the sights with a whole new perspective. I wasn't walking around with blinders on. I was walking around with peripheral vision. I felt like I had vision behind me. I felt like I had the Holy Ghost. I was talking to a fire dancer and she um, is from Samoye and she is one of the, there's only three women that dance with the fire. And I went live on YouTube, on my YouTube channel with that. And she was, and, and if you watch that live on YouTube, you'll see at the end she comes over and I said, I'm still live. And I said, if you want to say a message to your parents, please do, because I'm so passionate about missionary service. And she served a mission in Australia. And I told her my story. And she said she's been fire dancing and eating fire knives for uh, two years or a year now. And she was so grateful to have a video that showed her her that she could send back to her parents. And I was happy to be able to do that along with the friend that I'm traveling with, the friends. Our friend SPIR4 now says, Hey Dennis, I wish I was with you on that beach. My family misses you back home. Aw, I'll be back. I'll be back home. I'm assuming I don't recognize the screen name, so I'm assuming we're in the same stake or the same ward or... Um, let me know because I don't recognize a screen name. I'm sorry. P V R O S one. I love your American flag. So I got to say, I love it. Or in Hawaii, you go like this. Aloha. So, um, and in Kauai, they say something different. I haven't figured that one out yet. I'm still learning. <laughs> so that's my journey. I'm going to show you, um, oh, spirit, um, of now four says hello from Glastonbury Ward okay that's where I, I know you from I just didn't know didn't recognize your name so you are from my home ward which is awesome I love you guys and Bishop McMurdy and and um, everybody there is amazing I think you guys are awesome and what time is it there it's almost midnight or it's got to be after midnight because it's almost 6 p.m. here so sorry it's so late and um thank you for the hearts and then my friend d-i-c-l-l -L says so beautiful there it is i'm going to turn this around and walk you around the beach as the sun is setting over there Jura where they filmed jurassic park is right over there we got to see the waterfall that they filmed but I want to keep this on what I just was showing you this was the ability to apologize to this mission president at the um, Polynesia Culture Center and he was staying at the same hotel I was staying at at the time which was the Courtyard Marriott on the North Shore of Honolulu uh, and over where the uh, Hawaii Temple is and it was just such a, so this was the day after this was Monday Sunday night I saw him and he was there for the 
uh, 60th anniversary. So it was such a blessing to be able to have that opportunity to share my story. He took down my information and I also got to meet his son. And I believe his name is President Moore. Uh, I have to look it up. B-R-E-F says, hi from Cali. Oh my gosh. Um, you said, I've missed you. I love my friends in Cali. My friend Colleen is from California. She was on this trip as well. She's from Long Beach. And then um, you're talking back to uh, talking to somebody else. How you doing? I recognize um, Eric is what you said. And then let's see. So I just want to see if the spirit um, prompts me any more to share something else about this experience about judging the Polynesian Culture Center. I think it goes back to maybe members judging members that we all need to work on, which reminds me of that great phrase that our prophet, President Russell M. Nelson said, think celestial. I think when we think celestial, we will have less judgment and it comes down to it's we all have things to work on, but we don't know if that person that walked into our ward wearing grungy sweats or painter's clothes, we don't know what they gave up to come to church. It doesn't matter if they're not in their Sunday best. At least they showed up. We don't know if they're on vacation and they forgot their, their Sunday clothes and they show up in flip-flops. We don't know. The only person to judge is up there, not us. And I think that's the discord or the meaning of this message tonight is to focus on us, not what other people are doing. Because I spent so much time focusing on what other people are doing. And that's not what our Savior would want. And to me, that's wasted energy. So, and if that's something you need to work on, it's okay. There's nothing wrong. I'm not judging you. But, you know, make an appointment with your ministering brothers or sisters, or even your bishop if you need to, and say maybe... I'm having some trouble with, with judging others. And, you know, I thought about seeing so many members of the church attending the temple in Hawaii, attending wearing, men wearing skirts. I thought, how would they be treated if they were in Connecticut or in Utah and they showed up wearing skirts from Hawaii to attend the temple? Would we judge them? made me think a lot so I think but again that goes back to we shouldn't judge a book by its cover we should leave it to him because we don't know there's your story my story and the truth and we kind of have to go with that um, GB says thank you for being a missionary oh thank you um, ITZAR says thank you for giving um, PCC another chance. Absolutely. It was a precious experience. The PCC is all about love. And I felt that. I can testify to that just by attending there. My friend from Alberta, Canada, Richard55, says aloha from Alberta, Canada. Um, love. I love Kauai, our friend says. Home Word Bound One says, Hearing Pure Dennis says stories, stories spoken from the heart and by the spirit are a joy to my soul. Hugs to you and hugs back. Um, our friend Jenny underscore Swanson 67 says, Thank you for sharing my missionary son. It made my day. Your son made my day recording his testimony. And I also have his companion's testimony, which I'm going to share later on because I recorded them both together. But I felt that I needed to separate them for some reason. 
and that was just gone by the spirit. I'm so glad it made my day reading your comment on that. And our friend Richard says, in Alberta, Canada, it's 9.50 p.m., only 10 p.m. in Utah, and it's 5.56 here p.m. So we're going to go get some dinner, but before we do, our friend J.R.O.M. says, so excited that Maui is getting a temple. I am too. That is so exciting. I'm sorry I didn't get to go to Maui this time. I've been to the big island, the main island, and this is my first time in Kauai. So I've never been to Maui. I would love to someday, but it's in God's hands. I'm getting older, so who knows? Um, our friend DIC says yes, replying to our friend, a temple in Maui is amazing. So I'm gonna turn this around so you can see the view. Um, ITZ says, I posted Think Celestial the day after conference and someone replied, oh my goodness, give me a break. Hey, welcome to my world. I get anti-comments left and right on the stuff that I post on Instagram. It is the sign of the latter days. So let's keep our friends in Israel in our prayers. I haven't watched the news. I've just spoken to some friends. And we need to keep our friends in Israel in our prayers and also our prophet, President Russell M. Nelson and Pres um, Elder Holland needs our prayers. So, um, definitely. And our friend R-E-N says, Amen, Dennis. So right. Richard says, Here's a thought a tough life change day to day and our faith started with six persons and now we have hundreds sorry there's something oh little spider on my glasses um, yes with hundreds of thousands who are members almost 17 million strong we are brother Richard that is huge books and birds has I feel like President Nelson's talk is a key to personal revelation. I have learned so many things in the last week week or so about what I needed to do. Think Celestial, close quote. Amen. So I will definitely be uploading this to my YouTube. Our friend Richard in Alberta says, and we are imperfect and judgmental, doctrine and covenants. 132 so true uh, let's see so I will definitely be posting this about how my heart had softened from the Polynesian Culture Center PP PCC and I um, our friend DIC says I feel the spirit here absolutely let's see if we have any other comments all right so let me turn this around for you so you can see the view that I am seeing and then you are gonna be in awe because it is breathtaking look at this isn't that amazing so right here is where the Sun is setting isn't that just majestic look at that off in the distance so I want to close this with my testimony as I show you where Jurassic Park was filmed right over there that's the rainiest part of the island, and you can see all the clouds coming over. The rainiest part of the island. So, I know that our, oh, there's a doggy. Hi, dog. How are you? Um, every day, my testimony keeps getting stronger and stronger, but it's not an easy thing to do. It requires me constantly immersing myself in scripture it requires me to constantly be listening to uplifting conference talks uh, right now we have a weird gps system in the rental car and it talks every language but what we needed to talk we've even had barking dogs so the only thing i know how to do is marie osmond's gospel um <laughs> cd that she has uh, that is just amazing. It has all gospel songs from the church on it that were all sung at my baptism. So I know that 
It's not easy to keep a testimony, but it requires constant work and constant strength. And I can testify that as we continue to listen to prophets, seers and revelators, and not influencers, we can develop a stronger testimony as the latter days approach. And I say that humbly in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ, amen. Let me see if there are any other comments. Jay, let me set up my selfie stand again. Sorry. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. Face it this way. And our friend J-R-O-M says, uh, Kauai is my favorite island, the most beautiful. God bless you, Dennis. Well, God bless you back. I'm finding this is a beautiful island. Uh, D-I-C-O-L-L says, wow, I've been to Kauai. I'm so happy to see this. I'm glad. Hey, Michael, how are you? I have a friend sitting next to me that says hello. Um, we talk about you a lot in your strong testimony as a fellow um, person. or My friend Michael is just like myself. He deals with same-sex attraction. He's gay and... He's a full temple recommend holder within the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And I'm humbly honored to call him a friend, as many of you are. We are all eternal brothers and sisters in the gospel, following the same commandments as, as everyone else. Heather, thank you so much. And my friend Michael says hello to her back. And I'm sure she'll talk to you later. Well, everybody, enjoy your night or morning, depending on what part you are in. And I will um, just leave you with this beautiful sunset so you can enjoy it. And that's all I have to say for tonight. It's stunning. I can't get over how beautiful this is. I don't want to stop recording because it's just... It's just, I mean, God made this. Mm -hmm. God made this. You can't deny it. Even the clouds look celestial. Yeah, them. yeah. look at how they just flow right there. Wow. As the sun is setting off to the mountain over there. And it's just, uh, we're going to... Maybe So things close really early on the island and we may be stuck eating like vending machine food for dinner, but who cares? Because it's just, it's just gorgeous. That's all it is. Anne CB71 says, good night. Love it. I'm so glad. And our friend Karen just joined, which we are ending. <laughs> We're just enjoying the view. But yeah, no, I will definitely download this tonight and upload it for tomorrow for my YouTube channel. Because I think this is an important message about what I learned at the Polynesian Culture Center. It's important for people to know. So just enjoy this. Because I already finished... I don't know if you can hear the oceans. Let me know if you can hear the oceans. Give some hearts or something so I can, if you can hear the ocean. Oh my heavens. I, I just, that is just breathtaking. Okay, I got a few hearts so you can hear the ocean. So I'll be quiet. I went swimming out there and the waves were pretty big, but they weren't the kind that take you out. So it's a good thing. Our friend S-H-E-L-L-96 says Kauai is my favorite place on the planet. Books and um, Birds says I've always imagined Heavenly Father saying, quote, we gave them a good one tonight. I love that, close quote. 
DIC says God's beautiful earth, paradise, think celestial. Um, Karen says apparently it's snowing in Salt Lake City. Really? Oh my. Really? Wow. Okay. I that's that's news to wow. <laughs> I'll have to look that one up. Our friend C A R I N dot says thank you so much. Greetings from Italy. Oh, we love our friends in Italy. Unfortunately I can't send pictures of the temple. But you have a beautiful temple in Hawaii. So beautiful view. Aw. Those waves crashing are loud. I don't mind it though. Let me turn this around so you can see the other way. That's where the sun's setting. And this is the other view. So this is the north shore of Kauai. All right, everybody, I kid you not, I am logging off now, I promise. And I will get this downloaded and uploaded to my YouTube channel for tomorrow. I love you guys, and more importantly, so doesn't God. And please don't forget that. It's, it's about our Savior. It's not about influencers or anybody else. And think about what you can do for someone else tonight, or this morning, depending on what part of the world you're in.